901 rounds of continuous fire on the Super Duty upper, and it still shoots. Can we take it to the next level? Hey guys, Jason here with Gazio Automatics. Today we have one of our 16 inch Super Duty uppers here that was recently the subject of a meltdown video. We got this from Ben Webb over at Golden Webb, his YouTube channel. Ben does some awesome meltdown videos with AR-15s and other firearms. And recently this was, again, the subject of one of his meltdown videos. Now, we didn't know about this until after he filmed it and he got this from Optics Planet, did a meltdown video. We were very excited with how it performed. So we asked Ben to send it in to us so we could do a little autopsy and dig into this and see what happened. I'm here with Dean, one of our lead engineers. He's also an avid shooter. And Dean's gonna help us kind of dig through this and figure out what happened and why. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, so this, uh, this test obviously is some entertainment, uh, some science. Uh, the AR-15 platform isn't made to be a light machine gun, so this is a little bit above and beyond what uh, you should ask this over to do. Uh, but at Geisley, uh, you know, we design things to go above and beyond what the average user uh, might experience, so uh, we kind of see that evident in this test, and we just want to run through this upper uh, kind of show you how it failed and uh, and why we think it did so well. Right, so 901 rounds, again, we were uh, very excited with that. But ultimately, Dean, why did this system fail? Yeah, so when you when you look at Ben's video, you can see that uh, the gas tube here kind of coils up under the handguard. Right, you got a little droopy boy action going on. That's here, right, right, yeah, and, and I mean, this is all from heat. You can see that the, the barrel is almost glowing hot at that mm -hmm. point. Um, and what actually happened here is the gas tube slides slightly out of the upper and the, the gas key can no longer uh, index uh, at the end of the, uh, the gas tube. Right? Right. So, uh, so, so normally you would see this all the way in the, uh, the gas key there, uh, and we just had it slide out uh, ever so slightly. So as the gas tube drooped, it stops providing gas to the gas key, which stopped the bolt from cycling. That's right. Got it. So is that, is that how the system is designed? Yeah, I would say that would probably be the best way that you'd want this to fail. Um, we don't want the bullet to come out the side of the barrel. Um, as the user, you might have your hand, you know, uh, forward on the handguard. You wouldn't want a bullet to exit there because... You know, a little bit of yikes, could, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, injury, shrapnel, right. we, we, that's, that's not good. So uh, the gas tube is one of the cheaper components on a barrel cartridge. Uh, so that's kind of what we would want to see fail, uh, if anything. Right, and so in, in theory, if we replace this gas tube, we could probably still shoot it, correct? Yeah, I think in theory we could we could certainly give that a try. Right. Yeah. Um, we might see that later. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, so uh, just going from uh, muzzle back. Um, so obviously the barrel, you can see some you know corrosion on the outside. Uh, it's got a little bit of a droop to it. Um, but why do we think that there wasn't any rupture of the barrel itself? Because on some of the other videos we've seen, the barrel ruptures, rounds are coming out. Why do we think ours got to 901 rounds without that uh, barrel being ruptured? Yeah, so I'd like to, to speak to the barrel profile. So we have yeah. two barrels here. Uh, this is our uh, Geisley profile. Uh, and then this other barrel we have here is a government profile. Right. Uh, so there's kind of two sections here I want to point out. Back here towards the chamber, you can see we have a little bit more material by the chamber. So that's going to help soak up the heat right. uh, and survive this kind of test. And you're going to get more heat closer to the barrel extension where the action is rather than further away from it. Right. Uh, and then the second area here is right behind the gas block. So you can see on the government profile, we have a lot of mass here. That's going to uh, kind of divert heat back towards this thin section. Uh, and then on the Geisley profile, right, it's a lot thinner so that heat can kind of distribute evenly. So ultimately, broad strokes, we have more material and mass back towards the barrel extension and it tapers down after the gas block. So we have a little bit lighter profile past that where you're going to get less heat buildup rather than closer to the action. Yep, that's right. Awesome. And then uh, the other thing I'd like to touch on is the, the material we use. It's a chromoly vanadium, uh, especially for our uh, hammer forged barrels. Right. So proprietary blend of steel alloy yeah. uh, that's going to, again, does pretty well with dissipating heat as we've seen. Yep. So aside from the construction materials of the barrel, next we have our gas block, our super compact gas block. Uh, so I'm not really seeing any, any degradation or damage to the gas block, anything you found? No, I would agree with that. There's almost uh, no damage to the gas block. It looks uh, basically intact, it could be reused. Awesome, and uh, again, for our Super Duty uppers, we bomb proof the super compact gas block, which uh, the gas block is installed with two set screws that are torqued to spec, and then we machine a groove in the barrel and then drive a coil pin in to make sure that the gas block is secured to the barrel. 
um, and again, there pretty much eliminates any movement on the gas block relative to the barrel. Yep, it's just that extra level of security. Awesome. Next, we have our handguard. So our Mark 16 handguard that comes on our Super Duties. This is a 15 inch one for the 16 inch barrel. So we do see a little bit of slight uh, discoloration in the anodizing, just literally from the heat. Uh, but aside from that, again, I'm not seeing anything uh, in terms of the concentricity or deflection, anything that you found here? No, really no issues. And you can see, um, if you can see the discoloration on here, it's really around this area is kind of the central point of that heat. Uh, but yeah, as far as the handguard goes, I see no issues with Got that. Got it. So it's just basically heat treated. Yep. Got it. So next we have our gas tube here. Um, besides it drooping and obviously not uh, rupturing, is there anything of note with the gas tube itself? No, not really, but on uh, further review of the video, if you go back and you see um, this started to coil up actually in the second to last magazine uh, that Ben fired. Uh, so we actually fired another 30 rounds uh, after this gas tube bent. Um, before so it, it failed? Be before it failed, exactly. Wow. Cool. Uh, barrel nuts, upper receiver, nothing of note there for damage or any uh, degradation. Uh, our bolt carrier group. So again, this is all. these are all the components of the actual upper that was melted down. Um, we didn't expect anything to happen with our bolt carrier group, but just to touch on a couple points there, we do use our Forge Carpenter 158 Plus uh, steel for the bolt, uh, and with the nano weapons coating that's found on all the components, it literally pretty much wiped clean even after 901 rounds of continuous fire. Yep. Anything of note there? Nope. Awesome. So as we mentioned before, what Ben does on his channel, which is pretty awesome to see, it's kind of a mix of entertainment and science. It's not 100% scientific, but uh, to see our upper go 901 rounds, we're excited with that. And also to see it fail the way the system was intended to fail. That being said, here at Guys Who Automatics, we always like a challenge. So we decided to kick it up to the next level here. Uh, we're gonna bring on Matt, our director of engineering. He's gonna talk about one of our new projects we're working on, Matt. Hey guys, how we doing? Yo. So what I have here is our 16 inch, so we went with the exact same size just for this prototype, um, a 16 inch heavy barrel upper. So what we did is obviously we were impressed with the results of this, uh, of, of how our standard Super Duty upper performs. So like Jason said, we like to take things to the next level and we like a challenge. So we put our, our, our best engineering minds, Dean being one of them, um, to the test and we wanted to see what we could do and send it back to Ben and, and, and see what happens. So what we did, um, thank you Jason, we designed a heavy barrel. As you can see the profile is much much larger for heat dissipation and so it will survive. If you look at that in comparison to a standard Super Duty barrel, uh, the size difference there, right? And what we also did is we um, we made a custom gas block with a custom gas tube. So if you look at the size of the gas tube, there's a lot more meat there. And if you compare that to a standard gas tube, I'll try to make it so you can see it, they're quite a bit different. So we reinforced the gas tube, and yep. obviously the barrel has a lot more mass and material, which should help with that heat dissipation, correct? Yep, and we're really excited to see how it performs. So in addition to trying to get a heavy barrel upper out to uh, Ben to do another meltdown, we were very curious because technically the only thing that really stopped this from shooting was that the uh, gas tube started to droop and you know uh, not make contact with the gas key of the bolt carrier group. So in theory, if we threw on a new gas tube on this, we should be able to put some more rounds through it, correct? Right. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, get this squared away and just try and put some more rounds and see what happens. Obviously we have a little bit of droop here, uh, which you know maybe this will be good for shooting around some corners. Let's head down the range and see what happens. Again, big thanks to Ben for doing the meltdown video with the Super Duty Upper. We were happy to see the results and that he was able to send it into us to dig into it, do a little autopsy. We're also very excited to see how the heavy barrel upper is going to perform with one of his next meltdown videos. As always, we appreciate your support with the channel. Like, subscribe, and in the comments below, we'd be curious, how many rounds do you think the heavy barrel will do if the Super Duty taper profile did 901 rounds?